Sebastian Thrun and Mr. Morali are joining us now. Mr. Morali, of course, is from Honeywell. We're delighted to have you here. Sebastian, talk to me a little bit about this roundtable, just what you've come through. We just had a guy, tremendous discussion about innovation in the oil and petroleum field and bringing together the tech industry thinking into this really established and important field. And to tell me from you, you know, what was the input and indeed the great output from this? Well, the team talked about the digital disruption in the industry and what's pretty clear here is technology is one part of it but really technology is enabler we need to start looking at change management which is a key in this particular space and you bring very much fresh eyes to this a new energy um, looking at this perhaps from a different perspective how important is that it is super important technology is moving so much faster than ever before and so many more great things get invented if an industry is not on top of this they're going to be left behind and many times I think uh, the energy industry has accused, been accused of perhaps being a little behind already. What can help them speed up? I think just different thinking, being open-minded, bringing new people who haven't been there before, bringing artificial intelligence, new technologies, and just pursue this relentlessly so they can be on top of things. And of course Honeywell is very much at the heart of new technology. Talk to me about a little bit about you know, some of the technologies that you might have examined together and really could see the great value in. Well, we are really investing in the artificial intelligence as well as the control analytics and moving into the asset process people and operations space with our partners. What's becoming pretty clear is as a technology provider, you need to now work with key partners such as Microsoft and others to make everyone be successful. When we look at the future of the industry, it really has to be more efficient, it has to have less emissions. There's, there's like a, a long checklist of what this industry really needs to do to become maybe socially more acceptable because this is the energy industry and it is the most important industry in the world. Are you optimistic it can do that? I'm optimistic. I'd also be open-minded towards radical disruptions like maybe fusion or efficient nuclear or other things or maybe solar becomes so cheap that it underruns gas and coal. And these things are important to keep an eye on because if those changes happen, there could be really like big, big changes. And of course for Honeywell, I would imagine you're always keeping an eye ahead and being ready to adapt for any kind of energy. Absolutely. Actually, Sebastian made a very important statement in the round table asking us where will this market be 50 years from now? And why it's important is if we know and if we can dream where we are going to be 50 years from now, we can solve the problem in five years. And again, that's very important. Just to wrap it up, the importance of a round table like this really sitting down, getting together, analyzing it in, in great detail, so to speak. And again, thinking ahead, thinking perhaps wildly perhaps, but how important again is this that everybody shares these ideas now? I think it's always fun to do it because it's so different DNA. In Silicon Valley, we are very, very fast thinkers. We try things very fast, we fail a lot. Uh, but that DNA has led us to create things like Google and Facebook. And I think the energy industry can do the same thing. And for you, the energy industry you think is ready to meet the challenge? I must say that, you know, until about a couple of years back, digital and digitalization was a hobby. Now it's becoming a reality and the roundtable that we had today attended by 35 people from technology, operators, as well as partners, is a clear reflection of how important digitalization is moving forward.